In today's video, I'm sharing about why I'm moving toward a more STEAM education approach for my kids. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth, a mother of four kids who love to work with their hands and create on their own without me teaching them. And to be quite honest, I started out with my young boys doing steam projects at home and we we used what we had in our house and we built towers and we we used um little mini marshmallows and toothpicks to create 3d shapes and we built catapults and we did all kinds of building and we loved legos and my sons were obsessed with building with legos when they were younger and and then freestyle art we did a lot of that as well and and i got away from that in a video that i've made before i talked about one of my biggest regrets or what i would do differently if i could go back and do things again in our earlier homeschool and one of those things was not not doing the classical co-op that we were a part of because the direction that we were going really got just sidetracked with going into that classical co-op and there's nothing wrong with the classical method it just it derailed us i was doing literature based curriculum and doing a lot of steam hands-on projects with my boys and then we just got away from that for years and now we're going back to it so if you've never heard of steam i will tell you what it is it is an acronym that stands for science technology, engineering, art, and math. And this educational approach is not new, um, but a lot of schools are implementing it, I've seen in my research that I've been doing recently. Um, but it doesn't have to be super complicated, but it does open up doors to a lot of possibilities. And I'll tell you why I'm going this route. I have used um, math and science curriculum um, the entire time that I've been a homeschooling parent and my kids have been so honest and blunt in telling me that they do not like their math curriculum they don't connect the problems that they're doing on the page to real life and and what they really want to do is to solve real life problems and they want to know how they're going to use the math that I'm teaching them in real life and the truth is that when I was teaching my fourth grader last year how to do long division I don't use long division in my real life I don't so I stopped teaching him that and then my oldest was doing fractions and decimals and percentages which we do use in real life but he still didn't see how it was connected and he was getting very frustrated it's not that my kids don't want to do good work it's that they want to know that there's meaning behind it and that at the end of that lesson, after they've done math problems, like what comes out of that? Nothing. What is the result of that? It's not solving a real world problem. And that's something that they really want to do in their learning. So anyway, um, STEAM is an educational approach to learning that uses science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics as access points for guiding student inquiry, dialogue, and critical thinking. So it's so important for us to see what we can actually do with the knowledge that we have. And doing hands-on and child-led activities will really just spark them to have more confidence in themselves, teach them how to figure things out on their own if we give them the right tools and the the right opportunities and also they can go on to do jobs that will actually make a difference in the world so that's the number one reason why i'm moving toward a more steam approach in our education it's because my kids are completely unsatisfied with how I was teaching them things, um, specifically in math and science. They were just bored with the curriculum that we were using and they didn't see the real life connection. Um, the second thing is my kids are already showing how they want to use technology and, and engineering and their creativity with the arts to make their own things that I have not tried to teach them about. So my sons are already playing Minecraft and games similar to that, to where they are manipulating things. They are building worlds. They are using the technology in their hands to create something. And likewise with my daughter, who is just, just turned seven, she wants to write her own books. She wants to um, make animated videos. She um, is 
producing content that she wants to later put on a YouTube channel. She is also wanting to create her own video games because she plays um, open world games on her iPad that she can manipulate things. She can create her own areas and make friends and, and interact and all of those things that she wants to create her own video game for other people to play. So they are already producing things that they have come up with on their own. And they understand how to use the technology. I did not have to sit there and teach it to them. They figured it out because they have that ability. And they feel satisfied that they created something that they came up with on their own. So I'm already seeing the spark is there. They want to do meaningful work. They want to create things. They want to figure things out. And so I have to give them the right tools to do that. And so seeing the real world application of those things is what they really need. I tell you, I know that a lot of people are worried about when they homeschool, they need to meet the standards, they need to write the right transcripts, they need to get all the course things figured out so that their kids can graduate with the right requirements and go on to college. Um, and that's most people's end goal. But for me and my husband, college is not just a, a given for our children. I would much rather them find out what truly is their passion in life and get there in a way that is not college. Um, I would, I would, I don't believe that they need college to live a fulfilled life or to have a career um, that that is financially stable for them and is also um, fulfilling for them. I think that they can do multiple routes. What I want my children to be when they grow up are critical thinkers. And I want them to be hard workers. I want them to be problem solvers. And I want them to, to know that they, they can figure out anything that they need to figure out in order to do what they want to do with their life, which I don't know and neither do they what they're going to be when they grow up. So I would rather them understand how to learn and be self-guided learners and to understand all the things that they need to know to live in this 21st century world that we live in. And I'll tell you, a lot of the STEAM projects that you can do with your children are fun. And a lot of them are based on playing with things and, and tinkering around with them. And I'll tell you that the best way for our kids to learn is through play. If they are enjoying it, if they are having fun, if it gets them so excited and worked up because they accomplished something on their own, that is when they will learn the most. And I'll tell you, our workbooks never did that for them. And so that's why the, the hands-on approach, the, the building of things, the asking of questions and finding the solutions and, and trying and failing and trying again until they get it, that's really where I want my kids at. There are so many people in the world who are innovative and have seen problems and worked really hard to come up with solutions. And that's really it's so inspiring and I want my kids to know how they can use science and technology and engineering and art and math to solve problems. I want them to be working on things that are meaningful and are not just making sure that we're meeting the requirements for them to graduate. This website that I found that was talking about STEAM says this, not only does a STEAM framework teach students how to think critically, problem solve, and use creativity, it prepares students to work in fields that are poised for growth. A report from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics projects growth in STEM and STEAM-related occupations of 8% between now and 2029, compared to 3% for non-STEM occupations. Even for students who don't choose a career in one of the STEAM-STEM fields, the skills students gain from a STEAM education can be translated into almost any career. This quote is from the technology innovator and president of Intera Solutions, Stephen F. DeAngelis. He says, educating students in STEM subjects 
if taught correctly, prepares students for life, regardless of the profession they choose to follow. Those subjects teach students how to think critically and how to solve problems, skills that can be used throughout life to help them get through tough times and take advantage of opportunities whenever they appear. So they are taught how to learn, how to ask questions, and how to experiment and how to create. So that's exactly what we're trying to do in my homeschool, how we're pivoting. And I am doing the research. And this is just a good example for my own children and how we learn new things. I've known about STEAM and STEM since my boys were itty bitty, but things have changed in the last 12 years since I started looking at it. There are so many online programs that they could take advantage of. Um, coding is a very big component that I really want to incorporate. There's so many coding apps out there for kids even as young as five um, so they can start coding and they can also just be tinkerers and create things and if you give them the right tools then they can go and explore and come up with solutions to problems and also be thinking critically it's not something that I'm going to be teaching them I will be helping them by providing the resources but really they are going to guide themselves in these things so I'm excited about this new direction that we are going in our homeschool and I just wanted to share it with with you. If you're at all interested in STEAM or STEM education, I will be sharing what I learn and what I will be using in coming videos. Let me know in the comments if you are using STEAM or STEM approaches in your homeschool and if you have any questions about how to get started with it, then you can leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and sticking around with me. I hope that you will subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos where I talk about these types of things in our homeschool. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't, don't.